guys, I am Nathan, and you are watching Neil Before Sod. And today, we are going to be looking at the movie Hector and the Search for Happiness. It's not every day where a uh, spoiler is in the title of the movie, so that's gotta go. So, Hector and the Search for Happiness stars Simon Pegg, who plays this guy named Hector, who is a psychiatrist, and he thinks he's living a good life, he has a good wife, has a good job, uh, everything seems fine for him. His only problem is that he is having a hard time helping his patients with discovering what happiness is. And so he goes all over the world to discover what other people believe is happiness to them. And then he writes this research down. Now, this movie, it's not good, but it doesn't suck either as far as a specific rating goes. It's somewhere in the middle. I mean, the beginning of it goes very slowly, not much happens, but then once Hector takes off on his journey, then interesting things start to happen, and the movie picks up and becomes a lot more enjoyable. And for the most part of this film, it reminds me a lot of World War Z. You know, when Brad Pitt, he goes to one place, finds some research, then he goes to the next, finds more research. That's basically what this movie does, except Simon Pegg's character only goes to three locations. And I'll give props to Simon Pegg, he did a pretty good job in this film. Usually he's the comedic type, but in this playing a more serious role, who is basically discovering his inner self, I thought that was pretty cool. But the most interesting part of this film is how you can connect happiness on a psychological level. Throughout this film, you see him take the notes down and then it shows up up on the screen to say what he's learned. And so you connect those notes with your own personal life. Now, I was doing that for most of the film, trying to figure out, okay, does this form of happiness really relates to me? So while the movie's not good, it still makes you question what you believe is true happiness. And with that, I will say, is this movie worth watching? I say yes. It has my approval. And from this film, I'm going to ask you guys this. What do you believe is your true happiness? Whatever it may be, leave it in the comment section. And also, subscribe to the channel, like the video, take a shit on a pelican, look both ways before jaywalking, God bless America, and I will see you guys on the next video.